Welcome. My name is Shai Jabbar and today I will talk about DevOps in an organization and what does DevOps actually mean. Many of you might have heard about this story with babies coming down the river. This story is mentioned in several different religions and uh, the motto of the story is we have different babies that have been put down into the river by people living upstream. This baby has been picked up by the people living downstream and they raised this baby into a grown-up person. What we see in a traditional organization is the same kind of divide when it comes to developers and operations. You have developers doing all their scrums and XP and whatnot, and they creating these softwares, these implementing these features and sending them downstream to the operations for them to, to run. And the people at the downstream, they do not know much about these babies. These babies are, are coming down and it's their responsibility to now raise these babies and send it to the, uh, to the rest of the world. Sometimes host it, sometimes deli uh, deliver it, um, and that can even involve installing it at the customer. Now, all babies are different. They all are created different. They might have different needs. They uh, try to ask the developers for the needs of the babies. However, they do not understand the, they do not talk the same language. Sometimes the developers are not even available to answer their questions. They might be out to the release party. So they start to, uh, the people at the operations, they start to make assumptions about how to fix the, the software and so on, while the people uh, at upstreams, they are talking about continuous integration, continuous delivery, and uh, all sorts of fancy things in order to, to send more babies down the river and faster and faster. And the people down there at the operations, they start to get more fires. They're, they start with small fires and the fires, fires are increasing in, in number as more and more babies are coming down they are becoming bigger fires so they start to see well let's uh, try to bring some uh, some project managers in it so they bring a project manager things do not become better so they bring some processes well one of the famous ones ITL they bring ITL things still do not improve. The babies are coming down and yet with faster speed it's continuous integration, continuous delivery and all these things that you can you can imagine, the velocity, all these discussions are happening up there. Then they try to copy what the developers, uh, development teams are doing. So they bring a Scrum and with the Scrum they of course need to bring a, a Scrum Master, of course a certified one. And with the Scrum Master, and for the Scrum to work, uh, uh, function properly, they need to bring a product owner to, of course, a certified one. And after a while, the Scrum doesn't work because it's too predictive. It's two weeks, two weeks planning. How can they even do that? The fires are increasing. Now there are even bigger fires. So they remove the Scrum and they start to use Kanban. Oh, the Kanban also doesn't work. That's too reactive. They, they, the, the life of these people hasn't improved. So, Scrumban comes in. It's, uh, they try to find the best of both worlds. And this is where DevOps comes in. That developers and operations, they work together from beginning to the end. They, the operations are part of the refinement. They know how the system um, it can go down when it's put into production. They have all these experiences. They have, uh, they have th their craft as operations, and they have their craft as developers. And DevOps is creating this harmony in the in the middle. And what DevOps is not, it's not, it's not a role. It's definitely not a team. When we talk, when we talk about DevOps team. We have actually gone away from all this harmony. Then we are creating a third silo here, a DevOps team. And it's definitely not a job title. Thank you very much.